This is Twit. So I like electronic music a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. I do too. And an app that I have been subscribing to, a music service I've subscribed to since 2012 is digitally imported. I pay $70 a year for this. I have for a very long time. And if you want to listen to it, it's also free with ads. So I've got it here over my shoulder. Now, it is so, it is such a big app. Let me see, let me make sure I, here we go. It is such a big app in my life that I have uh, made it its own little icon <laughs> in my home screen. So the thing about this app is it is 90 different stations that are, uh, they're all per curated by people, just random people who are known DJs on the service. And you can get genres, all sorts yeah, of electronic so genres. You keep going. I'm going to see if I can use my height. To <laughs> from from synthwave, uh, which is a very popular genre currently for those who listen to stuff like The Midnight or Laserhawk, to Chill and Tropical House, which is very fun if you need some beach and island vibes. One station that I listen to pretty much every single day is, let's see if I put it on here, is Space Dreams and... If I really need to like focus, I listen to Space Dreams. Um, but if I'm kind of just like checking email, I'll listen to Chill Out. And so nice thing about this app is it's some chill out music right there. Oh yeah. You can like and unlike things, which pretty much just tells the DJ who's running the channel that day or during that hour, like, hey, I'm not really into that. And they'll kind of like adjust based on what the user feedback is. Digitally Imported is really user focus, like there's a very intense community behind this, which is part of the reason why I like it. This is how I used to find out about music before Spotify's algorithm was tuned the way that it is now. So I would listen to Digitally Imported to my favorite channels and then I would, you know, keep like a text document of all the songs that I liked from here. If you like all the really big house music, if you're into like Tiesto and like Armin Van Buren and like Barry Corsten, they actually have live shows with those DJs. They also have um, like live progressive shows. If you like progressive house music or progressive trance, if you like Russian club music, which is like really niche thing, but who, there's- Who doesn't? Well, there's a lot of, I mean- Russia is a huge country. So there's like a lot of people living there that listen to like Russian indie dance and stuff. Oh, okay. And so they have stations for that on here, which I absolutely love. So if I'm feeling like frisky or whatever, you know, I'll go, um, let's see if they have it on here. Uh, I'll just go down and go to the Russian club hits right there and listen to whatever the Russian kids are streaming uh, are listening to, which I, I don't understand any of it because I, I do not speak Russian. Um, and, you know, overall, it's, I found the use of it for the $70 a year that I've been paying for this. You can also go by, by style. There is no Android Auto support, which is kind of a bummer. And you'll see some of the complaints about that in the play reviews. And I'm just saying this here on air too, digitally imported, uh, 70 bucks a month. I mean, come on, Android Auto support in there would be really nice. <laughs> uh, there is Chromecast support though, casting support, which works perfectly on all the Google Home devices, works perfectly on, on Chromecast. And um, I will also say that there's a setting where you can do low latency. So if you're, you're in a very low um, latency area, you could just go and change the, um, change the stream so that you can get your music, even if you don't mind it sounding a little, you know, chip tuny <laughs> because it's a low bit rate. So digitally imported. It's been around for a really long time. Yeah. Really, really long time. Yeah, it's got good, good, yeah. uh, good music. I've definitely very, checked, checked very that out before. Deep embedded community. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, good pick. Support a good indie, you know, service. <clears throat> Thingamabob. Uh, hey, thingamabob. Thingamabob. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, just say thingamabob.